So the pocket mirrors have arrived and boxes of envelopes, which Pasto seems to quite like. Pasto, get off. Can you get off the envelopes? Excuse me. Okay, okay. There she is. Thank you. So they just came like this from eBay. It's pretty good and they're do not bend ones and they've got cardboard in them. So that's going to be pretty good. Do you mind or do you mind? Pas pasto. Stop. Stop it. Yeah, and so now I think I'm just going to start filling out all the addresses and getting everything ready for when the comics arrive because when the comics arrive I'll package everything up and it could be ready to go. Get in there. These are pocket mirrors. I had to take them out of packaging because they had my address on them. And I've already opened and looked at them, but let's look at them together. I'm very excited to show you guys. And these are the rewards that people from my Kickstarter will get. Yeah, and there's loads of them. And everybody who backed physical reward. Ooh, you're there. Um, <laughs> that was creepy. Um, yeah, anybody who backed the Kickstarter will get one of these um, physical reward tiers. Yeah, they look great. Fortunately, they are all not individually packaged, so I'm probably going to be packaging them up myself. That's like another job in itself. And yeah, I'm going to get this all ready for when the comics actually arrive. So they're ready to be sent out as quickly as possible because I don't like keeping people waiting, obviously. Do you, do you mind? Like, what is this? She's so cute though, how can you be mad at this face? Pesto, how do you think your channel's going? Yeah, she loves it. But I'm just working on some packaging stuff for these um, pocket mirrors. I've got the name of them then, for a second. Only for a second, guys. I've got these baggies that I'm gonna package them up in and then do them up like that. But then over the top, I wanted to have a label. So I designed this and I've just printed it out and I think this one's probably too small but you get the picture, I cut it out and then I'll bend it over and staple it down and I've got this like, um, it's really funny, I went to Lidl and they had this cutter that does all these squiggly lines so it will be fun to mess around with that when I'm cutting this out just to test what it looks like. Well after a short experiment with this failed one, um, that was too small. I used this one and I think this looks pretty nice. I'm only going to use two staples and I'm going to line everything up properly because my cutter didn't really cut this one very well but I'm going to use scissors to cut the the rest of them but yeah I think that looks pretty cool. We got you here in Ottawa that I actually have to make something for. It's canzine and you're supposed to have a zine to be a part of it and I don't have one so I actually have to make a zine for this convention coming up in less than a month. So this is the predicament that I put myself in all because when I look at other artists making cool things I get really jealous. I left my camera at home, so sorry about this janky quality. But we're ready to go. We're sending out all the parcels today, and hopefully they'll be with anybody who got them in about two weeks, maybe less. Hopey, hopey, hoping. Good Chris has found this chair, so that's great. Let's go, Chris. Come on. This parcel arrived from Gel Arts and I've ordered some things so I just wanted to show you guys So look at the little burb here Oh, so I got a little note from her and it said something about fellow YouTube artists So uh, so Jess if you're watching this, thank you so much. I love the pins guys You should go get stuff from Gel Arts because look how cute that is I'm gonna put that on my bag and I got some little toad stickers that are definitely that are definitely gonna go on my sketchbook So thanks so much. It's so cute. Ah, uh, so happy. Today, I just want to do a bit of a chill vlog. I've had a bit of a stressful week. <laughs> it sounds so pathetic. Because we took everything in to be packaged. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to show that, but you might have seen clips of us doing all that packaging and stuff, or you might see it after this. I'm not sure how I'm going to edit it, so just 
bear that in mind and yeah so we've had a lot of stuff to do this week and I was also considering getting a job as a graphic designer well I'm not considering it I am applying for a position and I really hope that I get it because I think it will be really good to get back into having full-time work instead of doing freelance and hoping for work and things like that and if I do get the job anyway if I just don't say anything about the job I haven't got it so <laughs> but if I do get the job then yeah I'm gonna I want to upload still the same and do all the same stuff but it's gonna be tough I think so if you see slightly less videos than normal that's why for the first maybe if I get the job anyway I keep saying it like I've got the job and I'm thinking about all the problems that will happen with my channel and my personal work so but I haven't got it yet so it's a bit silly to talk that way but yeah I'm just uh I just I did like a design test for that yesterday and it was really nice to get back into that kind of work as well like I found it really enjoyable because I always consider design um, like creative problem solving because whenever you design something for instance I do like website design when you design something you, there's always some sort of problem and some sort of like issue that you have to fix like maybe the text is there's a lot of text and you have to fit it in a certain criteria or the branding needs to be the certain way it's just like little things and I really like it when you find a solution for it because I think that's what creative thinking is or it can be applied to anyway and yeah I miss I miss doing stuff like that so hopefully I get the job have your fingers crossed for me yeah uh, it will be exciting if it happens and fingers crossed I probably should tell you guys all about it because now I won't get it and they'll be like uh, I didn't get it and it'll just be super awkward uh, so that's what I've been doing um, that's why this video is a little lackluster because usually what I do is I I do work on Monday and Tuesday for the video I prep it all and then edit it and then Wednesday I, I upload it but because I had this design test come through obviously that kind of took priority for that moment because I want the job <laughs> basically why this video is probably up late but I hope you guys don't mind so I don't know what I'm drawing I'm just drawing random doodles um, I realized that when I draw mermaids that I always draw the proportion like the actual physicality of a mermaid is probably all wrong because they would like break their tails with the spine running through it and stuff but then I also don't care <sighs> sorry about this long rambly video I'm just gonna ramble through it and tell you guys about my life all the packages so all the Kickstarter is done there's only a few stragglers who haven't given me their address so if you're one of those people please go to the Kickstarter and give me your address because I don't know what to do I can only message you and yeah so we did all that and it was a bit of a headache we got to the post office and I was like sorry <laughs> to the woman who looked super like oh no why did they have to come to my counter it was just a little bit crazy that day we were lugging around these massive bags full of stuff to send it at the post office and then what we did was um, she asked us if we wanted to have her put the stamps on for like 3p each but it was funny because I was like, no, no, I don't want you to do it. You know, I'm feeling really bad thinking this poor woman, we rocked up to her counter and now we're gonna make her put all her stamps on. And she was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. like mumbled something because there was a glass petition. I couldn't really hear her. And I was like, oh no, it's okay. We don't want you to do it kind of thing. So we stood there for like two hours. We had to fill in these custom forms anyway and stick them on. So we had to say what was in each package and then we had to sign it and date it and put like the price of it and everything and stick those on the envelopes with a comment inside and then we had to put all the stamps on so each country had like a different variant of stamps so it would be like two red ones one pink one for America and then like UK was like one blue one one purple one and it took ages and then as we were like putting the last stamp on this guy who worked behind um, who worked at the post office as well we were handing him the packages and he was like why don't you just get them to do this in like the shipping department and I was like what and they were like yeah it's just free pee and um, they would have done it all for you down at the like the department I was like what I thought she said that um, she would have to do it and he was like no no that's what she meant and I was like no like in my head I was like now you tell us but I was just smiling anyway I was like oh well we've done it now at least but it just took so long it was really fun though it's really like felt really accomplished afterwards we literally spent two hours in the post office so in a way I'm glad that I've done that Kickstarter now because if I ever do another one and I have maybe more books and stuff I'll be prepared for it this time because it was my idea to do it by country so I was going to do like oh I'll do America the Americas first and then I'll do like Europe and then you know in succession but this time because our car had broken down we were borrowing a car i know what tragic life <laughs>
we were borrowing a car just to send the packages off that day so I had to get it all done in one day ah yeah but it's all done now so that feels really strange and just a nice feeling <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying because Chris was sitting outside and his chair just smashed into pieces. And it was a bit like, are you okay? And then it was a bit amusing. So I'm not sure where I was. <clears throat> I think I was talking about buying books. <clears throat> now I've got a frog in my throat. This is a cursed video. Yeah, it's talking about buying books. And the most recent book that I read was called Pachinko. And it was such a great book and I heavily suggest it if people are interested in historical fiction because it's about generations of this Korean family, how they moved from Korea in the 1910s which was colonized by Japan at the time and they moved to uh, Osaka in Japan because they felt like uh, they would do better in, in Japan and it was about their struggles and you know during the war and up until like the 1990s of how Koreans were treated in Japan and also about like the Second World War, I always find that really interesting. Hearing about the Second World War, I think I've read a few stories about like different places and it's interesting to see what each country was going through at the time. But I really do, I like historical fiction as well where the characters aren't necessarily real but at the time these things were happening to people um, in Japan. So it was really good. It was about, it was a really long book and I read it quite quickly for me. Um, it was about, well, I don't know, 500 pages, 600 pages. And I read it in like six, six days, which is really quick for me. And I think I just couldn't put it down. But I love it when you find a book like that. It's the kind of, for me, it was the kind of book that, you know, when you look forward to reading it later, you think about it, you're like, yeah, I can't wait to get into bed and be able to read that book I was reading. So I highly suggest it if you like historical fiction. And I like, uh, for me, I like reading about hardship as well, especially in historical fiction. It's like reading it and how they overcome stuff. I think that was what the hook was for me in the beginning. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I'm kind of sad it's finished, but hey, that's what happens, isn't it? When you enjoy a book and you read it really fast. I think that's it for me. And yeah, thanks for watching this weird short sketchbook session slash vlog about us parceling up all our stuff. Thank you to everybody who's funded the Kickstarter and over the months, couple of months that I did the project, thanks for the support. And I think that's it for all the Kickstarter stuff. I'm never gonna talk about it again until maybe I do another one. I would love to do one with my Slice of Life comic because I have so many of those that would be really fun. But I don't know if anybody would want to support me so soon after just supporting the other Kickstarter, if that makes sense. I need to think about it a bit more, but it would be nice to have the comics printed and that's it. And thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. Bye. I'd also like to give a short shout out, if you don't mind, to my favorite patrons. They are the $12 tier patrons and they are Erica, James, Cecile, Steph and Lee, Tim, Tom, Megaya, Megan, and Babbitt. If you guys would like a shout out at the end of my video, then go check out my Patreon link down below. And yeah, that's it. Cheers and bye.